I'm making this addendum video to add to my MLS Super Draft videos, and this will discuss a couple of elements that I forgot to add to those videos. This will be about the MLS mock draft item that you'll receive in your inbox, and it'll also look at the MLS combine item you'll also receive in your inbox. Hopefully this helps. You'll also occasionally get these mock draft notifications, and this is something that's fairly common in journalism in American sports, heading into a college draft. And this is where the experts attempt to predict which teams are going to take which players. Now, as far as that goes, there, there's not much value in these mock drafts to that. But for you, the manager of an MLS club in Football Manager, it can help you, again, to get an idea of some of the best players. And this might be a list of players that you want to look at and consider for uh, choosing in the draft. So it is, um, while usually the draft doesn't go anything like these, it does at least give you another list of players to help you prepare for the draft. Part of the MLS Super Draft is the MLS Combine. And I believe I've mentioned before, the MLS Combine is where the draft prospects all come together. They're run through certain training exercises, tests, assessments, to help scouts get an idea of how good these players are. And this is something kind of cool that SI has done. They, they seem to expand on this a little bit every year. And in, when you get this email, that will come to you, I believe, the second Thursday of January. It's early January. And it'll talk about the Combine and how it started. And then it'll give you some text about some of the tests that were run. Uh, here you see in the first physical test, which was all about speed, Marcus Dicko Reynal was the best player overall, with Mike Midgley and Dan Kiff also delivering impressive performances. And then it, you know, it, and it talks about the different tests, agility tests, jumping tests. And this obviously this first email does not go much into technical, tactical abilities. But it does give you an idea of some of the physical qualities of the players that are going to be in the MLS draft. So you can kind of look through the list here and you can see um, Marcus Dicko Reynal, who apparently won the speed test. So you can click on him and you can see he really only has a pace of 12, but his 16 acceleration probably means that he is able to quickly get to his top speed to help him win that. Uh, Mike Midgley is a little faster, but he also has 16 acceleration. So it's um, obviously, you know, who winning the test doesn't necessarily mean you're the fastest player, but it means you're pretty fast. And it, it, it gives you a little list to work at, to, to work off of, to look at some of the players. Maybe you like to have a really fast winger try to go over the top with long balls. Um, Maybe you prefer agility in your goalkeeper. Here you see in the agility test, Joshua Durkin was the most ad, was the second most agile player in the test, and he does have a 16 agility. Um, you look down at the jumping tests. Obviously, the center backs did really well in the jumping test. Uh, you, you want your center backs to be good in the air, and you can see this one here has a 17 jumping reach. So, you know, it's something kind of cool that uh, SI has put in, and it does help you uh, as you head towards the MLS draft to kind of evaluate some of the players. Also, I, I mentioned also how the uh, MLS draft combine works, and it is a competition, and the draft prospects are divided into four separate teams, and they've got some kind of goofy names, Team Nemesis, Predator, Team Tango, Team X. And you can go to each team and see the players that are on each team. Maybe you're doing some scouting and there's a couple of players that you really are looking at. So you can, um, there are matches. You can actually attend those matches and watch the teams play. If there's a prospect you really want to see play, well, then you, know, you, you can attend that match. Maybe you want to see all the teams at one point or another. You see the first match takes place on the 10th. That's today. There'll be another match on the 12th. And then there's another match on the 14th. You can set yourself to watch uh, one match per day and give you an idea of the players that you're going to be looking at. So again, this is, this is largely how it works in real life. And it is a kind of cool addition to FM for those that would be interested in playing MLS. Again, this is another 
kind of interesting component to the game that you don't get in other leagues around the world. So that wraps up this video. If you have any questions or if I forgot to cover something, post it in the comments. So long.